At this point, I'd like you to pause the video and try this practice problem. And I'd like you to give your solutions over the interval from 0 to 2 pi, and then also give your solution over uh, all real numbers. So we start by isolating tan x by adding the square root of 3 to each side. So we get 3 tan x equals the square root of 3. Dividing, we get tan x equals the square root of 3 over 3. And so I know that tangent is positive in the first quadrant and in the third quadrant. And the angle in the first quadrant whose tangent is square root of 3 over 3 is pi over 6. This would be 6 pi over 6, so again we'd have 7 pi over 6. So we basically answered part A. We have our two solutions that occur over 0 to 2 pi. For my general solution, this is actually a little bit different. And so I'm going to first do it the way I think you most likely tried it, is that I know that I'm going to get pi over 6 plus 2 pi k, and I'd get 7 pi over 6 plus 2 pi k, and k is an integer. But where tangent is positive in the first and third quadrants, to, this general solution can actually be written more efficiently. And if you notice that you've got one solution from pi over 6 at pi over 6, you get another solution at half a rotation. If you add pi to pi over 6, you get 7 pi over 6. And if you added another pi, you would get a solution that's coterminal with pi over 6. Adding another pi, you'd get another solution that's coterminal with 7 pi over 6. So although these general solutions work, the pi over 6 plus 2 pi k and the 7 pi over 6 over 2 pi k, the most efficient way is that you're going to get solutions every pi over 6 plus pi k, where k is an integer. So this is the correct and most efficient way. And that happens every once in a while, um, more often with tan, because tangent is has the same sign from the first and third quadrant and from the second and fourth quadrant, which generates these solutions that are pi radians apart. Also, since the period for tangent is pi, it means that you're going to generate the same solution, the same trigonometric function, every pi radians, where for sine and cosine, the cycle, excuse me, the period was 2 pi, and that's why we multiply by 2 pi k. So when you're dealing with solutions for tangent, your general solution, you want to use pi k. The next thing I'd like to do is solve an equation that is in quadratic form. And if you notice that one of the trig functions is squared, you can kind of get an idea that that looks like a quadratic equation. And so we're going we're gonna to solve this equation by factoring. The goal when you, when you see something that's in quadratic form is to make sure that you get 0 on one side. And so we do have this in the form of a quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. You've learned how to factor, and so if you would like to use the strategy that I showed you by letting u equal the cosine, you can, um, or you can just factor it directly. Factoring this, how, whatever method you choose to use, will give you 2 cosine x minus 1 times cosine x plus 1, and we'll set both of these factors equal to 0 and solve each one. This, when I solve 2 cosine x minus 1 equals 0, I get cosine x equals a half. The other is already solved. So I'm first, what I'm looking for is just solutions from 0 to 2 pi. So I know cosine is positive in the first and the fourth quadrant. So the angle whose cosine is a half in the first quadrant is 
pi over 3, or 60 degrees. This would be 6 pi over 3, the x-axis, so this would be 1 less, so 5 pi over 3. So I've got two solutions that are generated from the first factor of 2 cosine, mi 2 cosine x minus 1 equals 0. And then I want to find out when the cosine of x is equal to negative 1, I'm going to use my unit circle and the ordered pair negative 1, 0. The only place where x is equal to negative 1, which on the unit circle is the value of the cosine, is at pi. The only place in that one rotation from 0 to 2 pi. And so I have three solutions, and those three solutions are pi over 3, 5 pi over 3, and pi. The next equation is also in quadratic form, and it can be solved two ways. It can be solved by factoring, and it also can be solved by using the square root property. So I'll use the square root property first, but then caution you that when you use the square root property, it's extremely important that you remember to put the plus or minus in. So solving this equation for sine squared x, I get sine squared x equals 1 fourth, right, by, so by adding 1 to each side and dividing by 4. Taking the square root of each side, I need to remember to put the plus or minus. This generates two solutions, sine x equals 1 half and sine x equals negative 1 half. The sine x equals ne positive 1 half will give me solutions in the first and the second quadrant. The sine x equals negative 1 half will give me solutions in the third and fourth quadrant. And the reference angle, or the first quadrant angle, whose sine is a half, is pi over 6. And if we label our x-axis as 6 pi over 6 and 12 pi over 6, that will help us fill in the rest of our answer. So pi over 6 was the first one, 5 pi over 6 would be the second, 7 pi over 6, and then 1 less than 12 pi over 6 would be 11 pi over 6. They're not looking for the general solution here, so these are your four solutions on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. Now that we have our four solutions that we generated by using the square root property, I'd like to just show you how to solve this by factoring. And for those of you who are afraid that you will forget to put the minus in, in which case you will lose half of your solutions, you wouldn't get these, the 7 pi over 6 or the 11 pi over 6, factoring might work better. 4 sine squared x minus 1 factors as 2 sine x plus 1, 2 sine x minus 1. Setting each of those equal to 0, we get sine x equals negative 1 half and sine x equals a half. And you can see that you'll generate the same exact solutions. Only you're less likely to forget the solutions that you get from when sine x equals negative a half. So just a caution there. It's up to you. Each each method is fine, it's just what's going to work better for you.